Well, this next story is here to remind you, even when life gets a little tough, you can push through to the other side. Yeah, today in the Bay's Ginger Kind of Harold Sop. She's live for us in San Francisco with an incredible story and why one man is getting in the chilly bay water this morning. Ginger, what's going on here? It looks even chillier than I can imagine. <laughs> Good morning, Marcus and Laura. Now, swimming across San Francisco Bay is no easy feat, whether you're able-bodied or not. But, you know, Robert Heights, he doesn't scare too easily from big challenges. Uh, today at 7.30, he is scheduled to swim from Alcatraz Island across San Francisco Bay. And he says today is a culmination of a journey that he started 19 years ago. Robert was just 22 years old when he uh, was on board a boat in 2003 on Lake Michigan. Now, unfamiliar with the area, he dove headfirst into a sandbar and was rendered a quadriplegic. These are x-rays of his injuries. And three years after his accident and a lot of physical therapy, he was able to regain function of all four of his limbs, meaning he was back at school studying biomedical engineering, he was driving, and he was fully functional. Now, fast forward forward to today, Heights takes on a new feat. In a couple of hours, he will swim from Alcatraz Island across the bay. He says he's always been a strong swimmer, and today he is claiming his place back in the water where his injuries happened. And he's doing so to raise awareness for the Paralysis Recovery Foundation, an organization that he founded after his injury. Heights has trained for this day since January of last year, and as you can imagine, today's journey is deeply personal. It's going to feel like the culmination and a real recognition that, Rob, you did it. You went from quadriplegia that you felt you never were going to get out of and you really believed your life was over to now doing something really amazing. Now, Rob also tells us he chose Alcatraz for its imagery and what it represents for him. He says that when he was a quadriplegic, he felt as if he was a prisoner in his own body. Today, he escapes that. There's also really special significance to the fact that today is August 19th. It's almost 19 years to the day since Rob first suffered his injuries, and he's been training for 19 months to escape what he said was a prison of being a prisoner of his own body. It's wow. really just an amazing story, guys. Mm -hmm.